I told you. I told you. I told you it would happen. I told you. I told you that would happen. It's Stream Deck. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's Stream Deck. I told you it would happen. That's so annoying, dude. It's not GameStop. It's not GameStop. They would never. I own stock. I own stock. They would never do that. Okay. I don't know if I can do this now. I'm going to try to hit the button again. I'm going to try to hit the button again. If my stream dies, I'll be right back. Okay? Let's try it again. Ready? <laughs> okay, it worked. It worked. Okay, this is true. This is true. Game Pass is excellent. The problem is there's way too many games, bro. It's just way too many games all the time. Now, to say that you can't get your money's worth is kind of crazy. Uh, because, like, I, I don't... What do you pay? 15 bucks a month? Um, you have unlimited content, right? Or is it 10 bucks a month? Oh my god, that's insane. The problem is that... It is an excellent idea for Xbox or Microsoft, I guess, to take that gym membership idea where people just pay 10 bucks a month and then they forget it. They don't use it. I mean, how else are they going to monetize old and used games, right? Makes a lot of sense from a marketing perspective. People just buy it and then maybe they use it. If they do, great. I mean, it's, it's, it's good for a customer experience thing, I guess. If they don't, who cares? You're not losing anything. Game Pass is excellent. Um, there are so many games, though, on it. Uh, I wish there were less video games. Like, period. I would like way less video games total. You don't have to play every game. Yeah, but, like, don't your eyes glaze over when you look at that? Like, when you look at something like Game Pass, or you look at, like, Netflix or something, when you see all of those options, I'm just like... Then I start looking online for, like, top 10 games on Game Pass. <laughs> Hope I can find something. I don't know, dude. Too many options. It's insane. Yahoo! Oh, no, I have too many games that I wouldn't play without Game Pass. Well, that must mean Game Pass isn't a good value. No, that's not what it means. It's, it's not that it's not a good value. It's that you are paying $10 a month for games that you will never finish. Right? You're never going to find the time. They're just flooding all that shit on you. You're never going to finish those games. You know? You're going to be stuck. You're stuck at the at the game select screen, not doing anything. Just commit to one. Have you ever tried? Do okay. I tried playing XCOM the other night, literally two nights ago. Tried playing XCOM, played like three missions. My guy died. I turned the game off. Nope. I'm not a bad commander. Nope. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can't commit to any games, and I don't think I'm the only one. Gamers just, we don't, right guys? Us gamers, we don't do it. <laughs> Skill issue. Shut up. That game is built to kill you. I hate aliens. That game pisses me off, dude. I hate any game where you have to die. It, it took me forever to play Pikmin because of that. I felt bad when a single Pikmin died, but that's like part of the game. Whatever, bro. I'm never playing XCOM. I'm never going to finish it. Stupid. Boop. Oh, this is it. This is the one. I love this one. Big fan on this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the tweet just says nobody gets their money's worth. That's just No, it's not true. true. You though. don't get your money's worth because you you're paying too much for games that you never finish. You're paying 10 bucks a month to maybe finish one game, but it's an old game, so it doesn't matter. Bad deal. Dual Main Jones says fishing in games is basically always boring. Is this true or not? A lot of fishing games and a lot of games that aren't about fish. I actually once played a video game that was all about fishing. It was fun. The driving the boat part was fun. Am I? Okay. I was going to say, I that was my slack on my laptop. I was like, oh God, did it come up on the screen? It did not. Okay. Are fishing games basically always boring? 
Most people say, no, that's not true. I love a fish. I love a fishing. 70% say it's an opinion. And that fishing games are actually really fun. Those people, of course, are... See, I told you this would happen. Those people, of course, are wrong. No, fishing sucks. He's right. He's right. Fishing and games suck. The problem is that all of you guys have been brainwashed into this, like, wholesome oo bullshit. Where, like, just sitting there and waiting and pressing the A button when the controller rumbles. Like, that's fun. It's not fun. It's not fun and it's not relaxing. You d No, it's stupid. Wrong button. Oh. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait, okay. We're gonna- we're gonna recut this. I did get the wrong button. You stream deck's fault. It's true! Yes, it's true! The problem is that you guys have been brainwashed by all this stupid PG-13 wholesome bullshit. Where, like, you just sit there with your rod in the water, and then the button, the controller shakes, and then you hit a button and you catch a fish. It's not fun! You're just waiting. It's terrible. Now, I haven't played Stardew Valley, or pretty much any game with fishing, past, uh, I don't know, 2018. But I have a pretty good idea of it. Fishing just is, is a meme. People say that they like fishing for likes. You get hearts on the internet. Oh my god, this is so- I love catching a fish. Oh, I can pet the dog. I love petting the dog. I love animals, by the way. I'm an empath. I'm an empath, and when I play games, I like to express myself. No, you're gonna- you're gonna catch fish, and it gives you like ten dollars, but if you killed a goblin, you would get fifty. It's a dumb way to play the game. Uh, fishing, I've never really had fun with. I always just do the side quests if I have to. Everybody told me to go fishing in Ocarina of Time, and it sucked. Here's how Stardew Valley f I don't care. I'm never gonna enjoy a fishing game. Um, don't talk about that froggy and the cat guy. Uh, it's not... It's... It's... I don't care. Fishing sucks! Fishing in games is boring, and it's not fun. And it's just a distraction. It's a, it's a little mini game sometimes, and I guess that could be cool because it changes the uh, the the it changes the the humdrum of the game, but not into it. Okay, next up, Yakuza fishing. Never played it. Okami fishing. Never played it. Listen, he said basically always. He didn't say always. He said basically always, which means some of them are the exceptions. Some games are fun. Okay. Fishing is cringe, bro. Boom! Tyler! Oh, boy. Okay. Tyler says the smartphone marketplace is sorely underutilized. Right now, it's only filled with free-to-play games, but the lack of dedicated portable consoles could make it a prime candidate to fill the void. Controller peripherals, Razer, Kishi, aren't terribly expensive either. Hmm. Video games on your phone? What a novel concept. Crazy you guys are saying fact. That's actually insane to me that all of you would say fact. Because I know when you guys saw that Blizzard presentation about Diablo, you were just mad. Oh my god, Diablo on the phone? Ugh. That's so annoying, bro. You guys were so mad at Blizzard for making Diablo phone game. And now here you all are like, oh yeah, that's true. Oh my god, that's so true. I, I can't believe he said such a true thing. But he did. No, he's right, and so are you. But I'm still mad at you. Phones, for some reason, don't have any good video games. Isn't that weird? Phones don't have any good video games. I keep trying to find good video games. Uh, and I, I can't. It's like idle games. And, and gotcha, you know? Isn't that weird? I don't know. You could do so much with it, especially now that you could just get controllers, like the Razer thing that he's talking about. Raid? Well, I, listen, they already paid me my money, okay? I don't need to do any more promo for Raid Shadow Legends. I told you about how much I... That's all I ever talk about is how much I love it. This is all I... Editor, you're cutting all of this. That's all I ever talk about is how much I love Raid Shadow... What if this video did get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? Wouldn't that be funny? We don't have anything in the... Well, we might... We'll see. <laughs> 
This video is not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. But regardless, regardless, I'm a big fan. As you all know, it's all I ever talk about. I would like more experiences, bro. I want more stuff. Where's my 2D platformer with mobile in mind? You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a phone. You know what would go crazy? Is if there was like a... um. Dude, I would love it if there was like a dungeon crawler on my phone, you know? Like I could be like a wizard and like go through a bunch of dungeons and like get uh, chests and stuff. And like with a group of people. Maybe like, I don't know, like fight the devil. That'd be really cool at the end. I can't find the good games. I think that's the bigger problem. Like those games do exist, but they just don't... Uh, I can't find them anywhere. Unite is a pretty good game. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I just, even when I see uh, mobile games, I just assume they're inferior. But they might not be. We need, like a, we need like a killer app for the phone that isn't anywhere else. You know what I mean? What if Nintendo puts out the next Mario game just on the phone and says, Fuck you. It's, it's in your pocket. No, it's not on Switch. Mario Odyssey 2 is app, store, and iPhone only. Play Store? Whatever. iOS and Android only. Only place you could go to play these games. Super Mario Run? Shut up! I mean a real game. How about WarioWare Mobile? Bro, see? Dude. They could make so much money. Oh my god. There's just so many things that could be on, on mobile. And it sucks that nobody's doing it. And I feel like in five years, we're going to look back and be like, Damn, that person made a lot of money from doing what we all should have been doing a long time ago. Instead of all this half-baked bullshit, you know? Dude, competitive warrior wear on your phone. Ugh. With ladders and stuff. Crazy. Okay. Boom. Matt Thomas says, Too many AAA games these days rely on RPG elements like leveling up abilities, armor, when more games need to be like Uncharted and just straight linear. Hmm. We're getting rid of skill trees? Leveling up? Get 100 kills with a bow? This is just God of War recency bias? You think so? No, because you could level up in God of War, I thought. You could, like, upgrade shit. Do I have my, um... Hold on. I might need to make a point with this one. Aha, found it. <laughs> I gotta make a point on this one. All right! Most people saying yes, this is true. 60% to 40, a bit more contentious than we've seen in the past. Yeah, I think I'll cut it there. Not bad, everybody. Pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, though, you're fucking wrong. And here's why. Observe. You see this game? That one right there? Uncharted? You see that? That game just came out like, not Uncharted, obviously, but a single-player, uh, long, linear, story-based game from Naughty Dog just came out, and all of you fucking hated it. Don't say you want this when you don't. I love leveling up. I will level up in any game I can. I love it when the numbers go up. I love getting experience. I love getting 10 kills on the bow and the shotgun and the pistol. It's amazing! Constant progression. Now, here's the thing. There is a limit, right? There is a limit. You can't be like Far Cry and just have skill trees out the ass or like Borderlands, God forbid, right? But I don't think you could just do straight linear games like Uncharted without any sense of leveling up or progression. You can't do that anymore. It's too boring. Maybe our brains are fried. I know so many people that just did not get into Last of Us 2. And that's like, probably, is that the last example of this? 
I think it might be. What's the last uh, third-person linear game like this? I'm trying to think. Red Dead 2? That was so long ago. Control? No. Red Dead 2 was a very long time ago. Bad Piggies. I don't think that's it. Death Stranding? Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, maybe that's a good one. Was it linear, though, and there were no upgrades? I didn't play that one. It takes two. That's not the same, and we know that's not the same. This is silly. You guys don't know what... Okay, Sekiro? What the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> what? Okay. Point is, I need something to keep me going, bro. Like, if the story bangs and pushes me along, that's fine. But it's way easier to keep me engaged if there's a constant sense of progression. And honestly, RPGs, armors, level up abilities is the is the best way to do that for me personally. Which is why that's my opinion. Which means if I have an opinion that goes against it, that makes this an opinion. Sorry, Matt. But that was terrible. Oh, God, I'm going to break it. Look, when I tap the screen, it turns white. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I gotta stop doing that. Sorry, Matt! Bad take! Next up. Guys, he can't feel it. I didn't hit him. He can't feel it. It's fine. Only a couple more. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Throw up the pole. Our good friend Phoenix says graphics do matter a lot. Mar Marvel Infinite... Marvel Infinite is much more interesting gameplay-wise than MVC3, but looks so bad that it could never live up to the name. Same goes for Artifact vs. Hearthstone and Dota 2 vs. LoL. You'll probably never have mass appeal without appealing graphics. Mmm. Look at that, bro. It was like dead 50-50 for a while. And then stuff took over. That's crazy. Graphics matter a lot. And keep in mind, what this person is talking about is mass appeal. This is crucial. Think. Think. Use your brain. You should think. They're saying mass appeal. Okay? Massive casual market. Hmm? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think this is? Hmm. 55% say no, this is not true. This is actually an opinion. 45% say yeah. I think he's right. And you know what? Please don't kill OBS. So do I, bro. No, you guys are wrong on this one. Graphics matter a lot, but hold on. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. I'm having too much fun with this now. This is now the main star of the video. I love this. Let me be clear with you. What I think is more important than graphic quality, and I hope you guys will shake with me on this, is art direction. I don't care how good the graphics are. I just want them to be stylized and interesting visually in such a way that they don't blend into the static of the game industry. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it matters so much how good it looks. I think it matters that it looks distinct and different. That's what I think. Uh, Marvel Infinite kind of just looked like a mobile game, right? MVC3 didn't have amazing graphics, I don't think, when it came out. But it looked so distinct. It looked like nothing else. It was like, it had the whole leap off the page thing, right? looked like a comic book, which was really cool. There are a lot of games that have sort of made their money in being uh, really pretty. And I think that's neat. MVCI was apparently bad all around, but the gameplay I heard was good. Uh, I don't know if that's true. I've heard Project L is taking a lot from it, so who knows if that's true or not. But I think art style and art direction is more important. But, but, bro, they're spitting here. Look at this. Artifact versus Hearthstone. Dota 2 versus League. Like, I, when you compare them, right? It feels like there's no comparison. Because one of them 
is butt ugly, but like hardcore. And the other one is pretty and casual, but it's a lot more appealing, right? Like a lot more appealing. All bad games. Okay, I got back into League recently, so we're not going to slander it, okay? I'm trying so hard not to League post, you guys. I'm trying so hard. I, I've lo I lost my battle, okay? I lost my battle. I got to go back to rehab. I know, I know, I know, I know. Hey, if any of you guys have any, if any of you guys have any silver accounts that you're not playing on anymore, some people are gonna click out of this because this is a terrible. <laughs> this is probably annoying, right? Somebody just doing this in your. I shouldn't. Do that. That's banned. Yeah, on one account. What are you gonna do about it? I got like 50 accounts. Get the hell out of here. But stay the hell in here, Phoenix, for your excellent fact. Thank you for writing it. You're right. I think we got two or three more. Oh, boy. Dapper code on this one. Nothing to do with video games, but this is always what I like to see. I like to have a couple of these. The meat tier list goes pork, chicken, fish, the others, beef. Steak obsessed adults give chicken tender only kid energy. I don't know what he means by that last part. I I do you know any Do you know anyone that's obsessed with steak? I don't know anybody that is obsessed with steak. That's weird. I mean like I know a lot of people who like steak, but like Also, what are the other meats? Are we talking like lamb? Uh, venison, kangaroo, ham. Ham is pork, kind of. Right? They're both pig. I just meant, I thought one was pig. Right? A duck. <laughs> Bison is excellent. I've never, I thought they were extinct. Is that a buffalo? I found out again recently about century eggs. Uh, from a show. I forgot those existed. Do you guys know what century eggs are? They're disgusting. They're like black eggs that you bury in the ground and you eat them after a thousand years. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Oh my god. It's disgusting. Coney, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten? I don't know. I'm pretty conservative in my palate. I don't eat bullshit. My dad got my sister to eat uh, Rocky Mountain oysters, though. That was pretty funny. She fell for it. She doesn't know Omega Laugh. I've eaten sheep brain and intestines. Weird flex. But thank you for telling the class. Uh, Dapper Coat, um, are you okay? This is stupid. You shouldn't have tweeted at me. You shouldn't have sent me a message. This is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. Like, the f okay. I got the stick. What's this doing up here, bro? Pork one? A lot of the world doesn't even eat pork. You know that, right? It can't be number one. Exclusive DLC meat? You can't do that. Pork over chicken, which, uh, honestly, objectively speaking, objectively speaking, I don't think chicken is the best. It's not my favorite, but chicken's got to be number one, right? It has to be. Chicken has to be number one. Everybody loves chicken, and you can make it in so many delicious ways. Uh, I'm a stand for beef. I'm a cow guy. Um, I hate fish. And I'm not really, I, the others are so like, there's such a sometimes treat, right? Like, you don't eat it often enough. Uh... I don't know what happened to Dapper to get this. Th this reads to me like someone 
who ate way too much ground beef as a kid and now hates it, right? I had an experience when I was in high school going into college and we had Chick-fil-A catered. And there were so many Chick-fil-A nuggets, the tray was huge. Hundreds of nuggets. Do you know how many nuggets I ate that night? Enough to make me vomit three times and not eat Chick-fil-A for two years. That happened to me. And I think that Dapper Coat has the same experience. Where they ate some kind of bad cow or something. What kind of pork are you eating, bro? That sounds delicious. I want good pork. Eating Zaxby's right now. Chicken has to be up there. D bro, okay. All right. I'm, here's a bonus. A bonus fact for you. Zaxby's is... It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine, okay? EE e got... And I got into an argument at Zaxby's because, like, he keeps telling me it's better than Kane's. And, uh, we went there after an event we went to, Smash World Tour. We go to Zaxby's. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Dude, the tenders were this big. This is their chicken. It's this big. It's a straw. I'm eating a, a chicken straw. And I'm like, dude, this sucks. It's like a Burger King chicken fry. And he's like, yeah, but it's way more flavorful. I'm like, if you say so. And what we eventually shook on, because it's EE, so it always has to go this way. Kane's is white people chicken. Zaxby's is black people chicken. Because Cane's is not much taste to it. It's just pretty juicy and there's a golden retriever on the front of the store. That's what he said. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Yeah, there's a dog and white people love golden retrievers. Sure. So we shook hands and we left it there. You know? The restaurant is named after a golden retriever. Which is, like, white people's favorite dog. So, you know, I get it. EE -E is right. Yeah, we shook hands on that. I was like, I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Because when I eat Canes, bro, I eat nothing with it. I eat just the stick itself. It's delicious. It has way less seasoning, and I like it that way. Okay? <laughs> That's what I enjoy. No sauce. Sometimes sauce. As a treat. I'll have it sometimes, like legitimately one dip every other tender. <laughs> the sauce is pretty good. Listen, guys, I'm a super taster, okay? I'm different. Look it up. That's a real thing. I'm a super taster. We are not the same. My tongue works better than yours. Have you guys seen my tongue? I have a really big tongue. Check this out. It's like a cow. If you ever see me flub a word or mess up something, it's because of my tongue. See? Yeah. Could touch my nose with it, though. And don't say it's because my, my face is all scrunched up. That'll hurt my feelings. Okay. We got three more. Uh-oh, a fighting game one. Oh, boy, people love these. Ataraxia. Everyone talks about how fighting game tutorials need to be better, but really the issue is that new players aren't encouraged often enough to just play the game with other people and experience things themselves. The idea that you need to be ready to fight others is damaging. Let me go ahead and show you what this says. Oh, you can't read it. <laughs> uh, I'll read it. I get to use it again. This is the whole video. I love this. Well done passing the veteran course. As impressive as that is, you're still not ready to take on other players in versus mode or network mode. Uh-oh. Got gate kept by the by the tutorial. That's tough. Man. Said don't go out fight yet. You're not good enough. By the way, this game has like 10 active players. What the heck? I don't even know what game. Is this Melty Blood? I can't tell. Is it Eunice? I don't care. I'm not playing it anyway. Undernight? Oh, okay. That's the good one. Okay, people are playing that one. Never mind. Eunice. Okay. 75% safe fact on this. And uh, listen, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I'm going to keep it at $100. This was a softball. 
I was hoping this would be the first one. This one's very easy. Uh, but it's weird that it needs to be talked about. I mean, like, I, I don't want to talk from a place of inexperience, obviously. I'm not a huge fighting game guy, so I'm going to sort of be deferential. But there has been more and more this idea of, like, everybody wants to be, like, good and competitive now. Like, you want to get into the ranked right away. And I think that's something that, honestly, like, the Mortal Kombat games nail. Where it's just like, just go in and have fun. Just hit buttons. You'll have a good time. When it comes to more niche, I hate saying that word on stream because somebody's always going to say something. When it comes to more niche, there, option select, editor, pick your favorite. When it comes to more niche series, I guess you have to foster the sense of competition because those are going to be your diehards uh, and, and make it b better, you know, or, over time and they're the people that are going to stick with it. But... See, there goes chat. See, this is what I'm talking about. I say it both ways and people still get mad. I, you can do it either way. It doesn't matter. My English teacher told me that. So I'm allowed to. I feel like with fighting games, I don't know if they're trying to foster this idea of like... They don't want you to get upset when you get fucked up. They don't want people to get in and then lose right away and get mad. But... I just wish these fighting games would just teach people to go in and die and make mistakes and lose. But then again, maybe that's when they start losing over and over and get mad and leave. It's weird. But, Coney, what about games that have both a casual and competitive online mode? No, 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 no. No, no such thing. There's no such thing, and I think we both know that. We both know that. If a game has a ranked mode and a friendlies mode, people are going to try hard in the ranked mode... And then there are a lot of people that are going to try hard in the friendlies mode. That person has never played an Earth game. See, you're going to make me leak post. Yeah, listen, Flex Q is supposed to be the casual mode. You think people go casual there? They don't. I promise you they don't. They do not. They do not. Because all that means is that you get to be the wolf waiting for lambs to line up to the slaughter. It sucks more in 1v1 games, too, because you... Obviously, everybody has made this point already of, like, you know, you are the loser. It feels bad to lose. But also, like, from the other perspective, that guy sees your name the entire time. You don't get to hide behind a team. It's not like you win or lose with that. You are losing to one guy who knows who you are, and he knows that he's fucking you up. And I don't know if he will remember that or not. But it kind of hurts when it's, like, that intimate. You know what I mean? Somebody throws you five times in a row because you're just blocking in the corner, scared to death. And they're like, that guy's scared of me. And it gives them a nice ego boost, right? Feels good. He won't? Yeah, they never do remember your name. But it feels like they do when you're getting fucked up, right? <laughs> it feels personal. It's like, I will never live this down. You're right. It does feel like, oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. But that's the problem, is there's no way to, like... Part of me does, genuinely, and I don't think this is the way. If you put random, uh, like, names or whatever it is, hid people's names in the casual mode, I bet people would dick around more. You know what I'm saying? I bet people would dick around more if that was the case. Because people have this attachment to their name, and they have this idea that, like, they're good. I don't know if this is true or not. I'm just saying that from an outside perspective, that's what it seems like. Especially games that track your win-loss, even in the casual mode or, you know, the friendlies mode or whatever. They need to hide win-losses. Well. well, that's, yeah, that's sort of where I was going. I mean, I'm just kind of spitballing here. I'm sort of going off the main point, which is that you should just play the fighting game, bro. Play the fighting game, learn, make mistakes, figure stuff out by instinct, and then, you know, maybe you'll get good. Or maybe you won't. You just think that because of the GG that was me, people. Listen, my experiences are definitely painted by the fact that I'm a streamer. I can't stream any fucking game. Not with my name. I can't. It's annoying. I'm trying to learn a game. I have three Smurfs in Street Fighter V. <laughs> I'm never putting my name on. Because the last thing I need is some 
ultra silver shitter coming into my chat like, yo, I could teach you the Vega matchup. No thanks. No thanks. I'll just lose a lot. But thank you. I do love having the XQC name, though. Because people will go into his chat and say, GG's, that was me. And they'll get swept away in the flood. He'll never have to see it. Washed away by the, sand, by the, the tides of content. It's terrific. I'm always XQC. Okay. But -da -da -da, two more. But -da 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 -da. oh my god, you could read them both, dude. I upgraded to Windows 11 on my laptop. This shit sucks. It's so laggy. I don't know what's going on. Boom. Okay. Uh, send it. Joe says no video game should be announced more than six months from release. You can only announce a game if it is coming out in the next half year. Hmm. All this says to me, by the way, if this rule was true, they would just delay the shit out of everything. They'd just be like, yeah, this is coming out in five months and 30 days. Uh-oh! <laughs> it's going to be another five months and 30 days. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It happened again. Five months and 30 days. Most people saying opinion. I feel like our good friend Joe is scarred here. They've been wanting to play Elden Ring forever. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2. Silk Song. Where the hell is that game, right? Where's Silk Song, bro? What's going on with that game? Crazy. God, that's so gross. Most people are saying opinion. 63%. And I gotta say, I think a lot of you guys are corporate bootlickers. But I'm right there with you. I agree. Yeah. I think it should be a year. I think a year is good. I think a year is good. I think six months is nice, right? Six months is nice. It's a good idea. And that's sort of what Nintendo does a lot of the time. Like, they'll just drop, like, oh, there's a Mario Golf game coming out in two months. And you're like, oh, sick. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, but then they just keep delaying Breath of the Wild 2 and all this other stuff. I think a year is good. A year is good enough to build excitement, get people interested, have people buy the system. Especially now that you can't find this, the consoles anywhere, the new generation. I think that's nice. But also, again, like... Games just get delayed, bro. I feel like a year is normal. Because I'll be in, like, June 2021. And everybody will be like, oh, game coming out in 2022. Are there any games that are coming out in 2023? That have said they're coming out in 2023? I don't know. Starfield, maybe? Overwatch? <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Okay. That's good. KOTOR remake? Damn. That long just to... Uh, not be good. Ugh. Don't have high hopes. We'll see. Spider-Man? That doesn't count. They'll put out more Miles Morales DLC, maybe. I don't know. My point is, like, a year's fine, but people will delay it, right? Every time. They're going to delay it. They're going to push it back more and more. I like the idea here. I do. I like the idea, and I wish companies would stop trying to sell me products of, of things that aren't coming out or, or even close to coming out. But I don't know. I feel like I get dragged along with games so much, like Back for Blood, bro. Back for Blood. I, I waited all this time. It was supposed to come out in, like, April, I think. Then it came out in October. And then it, it dropped, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty fun. And I played it for, like, three or four weeks. And I liked it, but... That's true. There's also quarantine. Quarantine's gonna mess stuff up, too. But, man. What was a game you really wanted to play but nonstop delays? Cuphead! Cuphead! I was following Cuphead since, like, 2012. And then it came out, and it was amazing. And now the DLC has been... Said it was gonna come out for six years. Now it's coming out in June. 
I would bet any amount of money it doesn't come out in June. I'll bet you, I would bet a hundred dollars that joint's not coming out in June. No way. No way that's happening. No way. November. November. Stupid. That was the game I was waiting for. I want to play Silk Song, but I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm not as, as into Hollow Knight as I was, right? I feel like Hollow Knight, like, that ship kind of sailed for me. I'll still play it, but I'm not going to be as excited for it. The ship sailed. I'm just like... I was excited for Elden Ring, and then I saw the, the gameplay, and I'm, I'm a little worried now. <laughs> Looks kind of... Ooh. It looks like you just, you got some assets there, you know? You guys don't agree with me? It looks great? Ah, you guys are, okay. You guys are here for fact your opinion. No, I, I, I'm, I gotta be honest, bro. Again, I'm, I keep it $100 with you. Uh, Elden Ring, I'm worried about. Because it looks exactly like a Souls game. It sounds exactly like a Souls game. Which is fine. Souls games are good. But, like, when it came to, like, Bloodborne or Sekiro or whatever else, they felt different, and they felt unique and interesting. Elden Ring, I watched some of the stuff, and I'm just like, I don't know. I'm not getting excited for it. I think it will be good. I think it will be good. I think it will be good. I bought the game already. I pre-ordered it. I do think it'll be good. Do I think it's going to be as good as the other games? I don't know, man. I don't know. Movement is the exact, exact same as DS3. Yeah, people showed, like, animations and stuff, and they were dead centered. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. My point is that I'm not all that excited, so what can you do? All right, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, speaking of, wait a minute. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Last one of the night. Leroy says Sekiro is bad. Because I don't want to learn how to parry. Is that true? Could that be true? Hmm. Does that make it a bad game? Hmm. I'm going to give you some time on this one. Really think it over. Activate your frontal lobe, please. Think deeply. I'm glad this was the last one. I'm genuinely glad this was the last one. About 75% of people say it's an opinion. Um. Well, uh... <laughs> Listen. I think he's spitting. I think he's spitting, bro. Okay. Before you guys tell me to get good and call me a bad gamer, first off, I'm not. I'm a good gamer. If you were here long enough, you would know. Second off, look at this. Sekiro is bad because I don't want to learn to parry. That makes Sekiro bad to him, to Leroy. Do you understand? It is a fact that Sekiro is bad to Leroy, and that makes it a fact. That's what it is. The problem is that there's not really much yeah, else you can do. What? Cuphead is bad because I don't want to learn. You don't how have to. to parry. You don't have to learn how to parry in Cuphead. Don't have to learn. Nope. Not even during the King Dice fight. There's an invincibility super, and you could just use that if you really want to. My point here is that Sekiro is so stuck on this one mechanic. If you don't like that mechanic, you you're not gonna like the game. The game is bad to you, and that's a fact. Think about it. If you don't want to parry and you don't like parrying, how will you ever beat that one guy? Well, who's the guy with the knives? Do you know what I'm talking about? The Wolverine dude that's hanging out next to the cave. There's a guy in the I don't know if he's a boss or not. I can't remember. But you have to, like, rhythm time it. Giraffe? That guy. 
the giraffe. I think <laughs> the centipede guy. Yeah, you have to go ching 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 like that. You know. How do you beat him if you don't want to learn to parry? If I didn't want to learn how to parry, and I took the game took me forever to beat, and I had to beat every single boss, and I got to that guy, and I couldn't beat him without parrying, I would think it was a. Bad game. I thought he would say game. But no, he just said bad. And because of that, Sekiro is bad to Leroy. Because he just wants to not parry. And you know what? I think it's America and he's well within his means to do that. Just don't play it. Exactly! He's not going to. Because he doesn't want to have to learn to parry. And I think that's his God-given right. You can't take that away from him. Do I like parrying? Oh, hell yeah. I love that game. <laughs> I love parrying. That's my favorite game. I love that game. Coney just said the guy's take what? is a fact because it is a fact for yes. himself. Therefore invalidating the entire no. premise of no, fact No, no, because opinion. all of our realities and subjective experiences are He's different. saying the game in general no. is bad because he doesn't want no. to doesn't mean it's that's bad. Not, just no, that's not what he said. No. All of our experiences and our perspectives are shaped by our own realities. He's speaking his truth. And if his truth is that the game is bad, I believe him. Perhaps you should practice a little empathy. Do you guys remember I said I was an empath earlier? That's the difference between you and me. The game is bad too. I don't know why I keep doing this. I love this. I love this so much. This is my favorite thing. I love this so much. I really do. And that's going to do it for Factor Opinion. Guys, did you learn anything today? I hope you did, especially in that last one. Comment below what you thought. Did I get one wrong? Any of them? I hope not. What did you guys think? Chat? Hold on. Let's get them up there. They are having a fit. They're mad at me. <laughs> let's let's get chat back up here. Because you guys got to say bye to YouTube. You guys got to say bye to our friends. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't, don't people ignore me. Come on. Not in front of YouTube. That's gonna, then they're gonna people ignore me. Okay, get ready. We're gonna say bye. We're gonna say bye. Come on. Wait. Where's Chet? Huh? Ah, there it is. There it is. There are my little babies. Oh, there they are. Say hi! YouTube, say hi to chat. And chat, say bye to YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll do this more if you guys like it. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep doing it. Goodbye. Don't people ignore them. They're... <laughs> That's a... I hate chance. I'm taking your sword. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> Ignoring me. I just did this for an hour for you. So you would be happy and now you ignore me. Come on, man. I was spinning on that last one, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Once you learn to un understand and appreciate others' perspectives, you're going to be a lot happier, okay? All you tryhards, gamer friends in chat. Well, why doesn't he just get good and learn to parry? Not everybody has hours and hours a day to learn how to play the game, okay? You... Dorks? Okay. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Not a bad episode. Are there any Final Fantasy games that have a better story than Dark Souls? Can any of you explain one to me? I like tactics, but I don't remember the story at all, honestly. Not 14. Well, 14 is an MMO. Those stories don't count. MMOs don't have stories to me. Because all they do is service the gameplay. I've never played an MMO, though. So. Yahoo! You should know that. Everyone who tweets for fact or opinion tweets their opinion, which means they're all facts. No, not always. Some of them are fake. Some of them are opinions masquerading as facts. Not the same. That's why I am the arbiter of truth. 
I am here to tell you what is true and what is not. Separate truth. I always want to say truth from reality. That's not... That's stupid. Damn, Toad back there is schlump. He was actually worse before. His head was like... It was really bad. Okay. Coney, please fix chat. I'm dying. Oh, it doesn't fix until somebody subs. Not a joke. Actually, I think Stickless just fixed it. Thank you, Stickless. Yeah, that's how it goes. It fixes because somebody subs. That's what it is. Yeah, not a joke. That's actually what happens because it has to pop the thing because it keeps going back and forth on that. So, well done. Thank you guys all for subbing, by the way, during that. Got up to 2029. I appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Dark Souls story is bad. Dark Souls lore is amazing. Dude, that's what killed me. EE -E was like, oh my god, the story is so good. He didn't read any items. I know he didn't. EE -E has no idea what's going on in Dark Souls. I'm positive. I'm positive he doesn't know any of that. He, he watched like two YouTube videos. He watched a timeline video on stream. Yeah, exactly. And and I I don't think he knew any of it. And listen, I did that too, right? And I was like, oh, this is cool. But he definitely watched Vati. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I'm not I'm not coming at him. But like, is that better than all the Final Fantasy games? You know? Okay. Next up is something a little bit casual. Uh, honestly, man. Honestly, dude, there are a lot of video games coming out. There's a lot of stuff that's on the horizon, and I just kind of forget about it. Thank you, Dumpster Monkey. And I just don't keep an eye on it. And uh, I, I was curious as to stuff that I missed or just things that are actually happening. And I'd like to have a list for myself of the games that I'm actually interested in. So I found a video... Which is literally just top 40 upcoming games announced last year. Most of these games are in 2022. I just want to see what games are coming out. That's it. So we're going to watch this. Give our thoughts. And I've got some tears here. We've got no thanks, perhaps, and yes, please. Uh, I, listen, I don't know what's going to be good or not. All I know is that I've got a pretty keen eye for a game's uh, Metacritic score eventually. We did a series a while ago called Guess the Metacritic, and I was dead on more often than not. I was actually right a lot more than chat, which is true. So I can, I can tell when games are going to be good or not. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and uh, see what we think. Kirby is out in March? Dude, isn't that so close? Oh my god. That's insane. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but a ton of new video games were announced throughout Video games! Today we've got 40 upcoming games that were announced throughout 2021. How many will be good? Over, under. Over, under on how many will be good. There are 40 here. I'm guessing five are good. Five are in, yes please. That's my guess. I got five in, yes please. One. Some of these are releasing soon. Some of these are releasing who knows when. And just a quick disclaimer: I got games five, like dude. Elder Scrolls Six, At Starfield, most. God of War, Ragnarok, Atomic Heart, Hogwarts Legacy, and the rest you see on screen here were actually announced pretty well before 2021. Oh. So if you think we missed something on this list, double check the dates because you'd be surprised how many games got announced a long time ago. But Wait, they're not on the list? Well, no, that's not what I. I just wanted games that were coming out this year. Bro, there's like mad things that don't work here then. Wars Legacy and the rest you see on screen. They weren't announced in 2021. Bro, I bet there's nothing good here. Okay. It's a now. Okay, well, this title's. This you got 40 games, so let's get started. Title Coney. Okay, fine. Hold on. How was I supposed to know? Huh? There's an IGN video on the biggest games coming out in 2022. Is that top 25 most... Oh my god, that's 40 minutes. What the heck? Here we go. We're going gaming bolt on this. 
I don't even know what gaming bolt is. The term embarrassment of riches comes to mind when we look ahead at the <laughs> Let's games see. that are coming out in the future. Maybe All right, 30 games. I got... I got... Six yes. Six on yes. Six on yes. Your sequels are being developed. Long dormant and beloved franchises are coming back. I got Talented six on yes here. Studios are making big waves. Exciting new properties are looking to make a splash. A There's fifth. There's a deluge of major releases scheduled for the next couple of years. Here, we're going to take a look at a few games coming out in 2022 oh, and one. beyond that we're more than a little excited about. Not that one, bro. God of War Ragnarok. After reinventing okay, God of yeah. War in the best way possible in 2018, SIE Santa Monica is coming okay, back. Okay, well, we with already a have one. That's what do you mean bad? And better adventure. Kratos and what do you mean bad? The threat of this game's going to be good, dude. The sequel promising to bring this Did you not play it? The port's out now, by the way. This is Norse saga to a close. It's a good game. We can't wait to see how this leg of their journey will wrap up. This won't be will be good. I think it'll be more I'll of the same though. Two. Remedy Entertainment has been waiting to make a proper Alan Wake sequel Alan for quite Wake? some time, and now the developer is finally ready. Do you think it's just going to be pointing flashlights at things again? Alan Wake 1 was boring. Yeah, I'm wondering what it's going to... Like, I got to see gameplay, dude. I got to see gameplay, because, like, Alan Wake 1 was... was the a, writer is kind of a snorfest. And with Alan Wake 2 being a full fledged survival horror game, there's more than enough reason to be excited know, about what his next adventure is going to look like. It's currently. Tony, you can't groan at Alan Wake and say God of War is good. I literally just did. God of War is excellent. Alan Wake is old and dumb. Scheduled for 2023. It's, Luigi, it's Luigi's Mansion. You know that, right? You know Alan Wake is Luigi's Mansion. You're just pointing the flashlight. To, look, look, ready? I'm Alan Wake. You're good. I thought that would be a lot brighter. I thought that, I thought doing this would be a lot brighter, and I wanted to be obnoxious. I wanted. You, I thought. I thought it would be annoying. Um, maybe if I go cam mode. No, it doesn't work. Okay. All right. Well, miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. It's going to be a long, long wait. It's a maybe. It's a maybe. Fable. Boo! Fable never quite reached its full potential when Lionhead Studios was Boo! making new games in the series, but you can do so, anything. Microsoft's action RPG franchise has its fair share of fans, and with Forza Horizon Studio Playground Games shouldering the responsibility the, of bringing the series back, bro, is the is the camera stuck? We're curious to see Where's how the successful gameplay? this comeback will be. There's no word yet on when Fable <laughs> just is going stuck to on launch, but screen. whenever it does, it's going to be worth keeping an eye on. That game, I'm Faith not of feeling Dawn it, bro. Hereafter. What? Faith of Donshant Hereafter is definitely one of the lesser known games in this list, but one look at it should tell you why it's piqued our interest. Developer Beijing Joy Fun's action RPG uh, is promising fast combat and slick movement in a fantastic... Bro, my man ran up a tree? Joy Fun's action RPG <laughs> is promising fast... <laughs> They're going to add this in Fortnite. This is going to be in Fortnite by the end of the year. This is going to be in Fortnite, and I'm going to love it. You're going to get sticky boots. You're going to get sticky boots in Fortnite. And that's amazing. Best combat I like it. I kind of like it. Movement in a fantastical world based on Chinese mythology. What? And Faith of Donshan? Together in a cohesive and satisfactory faction, Here it after. could end up okay. being quite a special game. No. no. Black Myth Wukong. Black Myth Wukong what? made big waves when it was first unveiled, and with every new showing... Bro, he fucked up that sentence. <laughs> made big wigs when it first unveiled. Oh, this poor guy. Black Myth Wukong made big waves... Bro, just one, just one take, one take. ...when it was first unveiled, and <laughs> with every new showing... One take, one take, like send it, RPG it's fine. ...has looked better and better. No, it And hasn't. we're not just talking about the visuals, which of course look Black spectacular. Myth. From large-scale boss fights to beautiful environments, from exciting traversal mechanics to punchy combat, Black Myth seems to be shaping up very well. Bro, I feel like they made Neo, and every studio was like, bro, we could make Dark Souls? And now they're all doing it. You know what I mean? Like, like everybody's like, bro, Dark Souls looks hard. And then they made Neo. And now everybody's like, yo, I could make Neo. <laughs> 
but I'm a monkey. And we're excited for when we'll finally be able to Oh, wait, play is this? Oh, that looks like a we Dynasty Warriors. exciting warnings. traversal mechanics to punchy combat. Black Myth seems to be shaping up very well. And we're excited for when we'll finally be able oh, to play Oh, that's probably it. like a like a like a, a Dark Walker thing. It. Whatever, not good. Redfall. Arcane Studios has mastered the ah, art of this crafting one. excellent immersive sims over the years. And now, with the full backing of Xbox Game Studios, the developer is ready to take the next step forward. Open world co-op shooter Redfall made plenty of waves at E3 2021 thanks to its premise and the fact that you're going to be taking on a formidable army of vampires. More than that, though, we're curious to see how Arcane will translate the style of gameplay it's always been known for into a full-blown open-world environment. Dude, I... I don't know, dude. After playing Deathloop, I'm kind of nervous, right? Because, like, Deathloop was good, but it wasn't, like, groundbreaking. Didn't go crazy. Uh, All, all Back for Blood showed me is that these kind of games are hard. Different studio? Co I don't care. No, it's Arcane, right? It's Arcane. It's a different studio for Arcane, but it's still an Arcane game, right? I don't care. It's an Arcane-style game. Arcane? Bat chest? Stop. Stop. Not here. That's a TFT chat thing. Not here. <laughs> Stop. I think it's a hard thing to make this kind of game. I think it looks very easy on the outset, right? Because you're just like, you throw four people up, you make some special zombies, whatever. I don't know, man. Redfall might be good, and I do trust Arcane. Um, I love their show, right? But I just don't... Uh, I watched this trailer, it was mad quippy, too. It felt very, like... I don't know, man. It's always been known for into a full-blown open-world environment. Maybe. Maybe. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mm. This one obviously had to be in there. Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest games of all time, and while there are question marks over whether Nintendo will be able to capture that same lightning in a bottle again with its sequel, the fact remains that even if it doesn't do that, you even know? if it's just more of the same, it's going to be an excellent game. No, he's wrong. Um, Breath of the Wild is an excellent foundation. You know what they need? Uh, uh, more crafting, skill trees, maybe uh, unlocks, RPG style things. Um, maybe Troy Baker comes in as Link. That'd be nice. Uh, hmm. A charismatic villain. And a gun. That's what I would like. We're not entirely confident that the game will be able to hit its intended... Bro, that Troy Baker NFT thing was so fucking funny, by the way. That was so funny. Oh, my God. He, he put it out, and it was like, you can either hate or create. And then after it, he was like, my bad, guys. I was just trying to tell stories from the bottom of my heart. Guess I got it wrong. I really appreciate y'all's heart to heart. What the fuck are you talking about? Y'all keep me honest, and I appreciate that. That's why I love each and every one of you. Just, what the fuck? Why do you talk like that? Oh, man, I'm just trying to start a dialogue. What are you saying? I'm just trying to start a dialogue, man. I think there are open opportunities for us to speak heart to heart in a way that connects us and makes us all more empathetic. Shut up! What? PR brain. Yeah, it's so weird, dude. It just, it read like someone who really, really wants people to like him. Really. I don't know. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but holy shit, dude. That, those tweets were nonsense. They were not, he's a massive Darman fan. Yeah, it was so like, it was so self-centered. He's not, I mean, he might be. None of us know him, right? He's not a nice guy. I don't know the guy, okay? I don't know the guy. I'm not going to pretend to know him based on online interactions. I think that's a dangerous thing. But he did not come off well. Like, it would have been one thing if he just put out the NFT thing and people were like, hey, this is shit. And he was just like, oh, all right. Yeah, I, I was just either trying to make money or I didn't know enough about it. Um, sorry. 
but like this whole like it was like the Garth Brooks thing. It was like Garth Brooks on Facebook where he's like, "Well, my little cousin tells me that this is how we start a conversation." And I say, "Let the conversation begin." It's fucking weird. Stop it, Troy, you know? 2022 launch window, I like that. but we really <laughs> hope it does because this is one of the most exciting It's fucking games weird, right dude. Now. Just say I wanted money. By the way, by the way, by the way, Breath of the Wild, hot perhaps. That's a hot perhaps. If they innovate on it, I was I was obviously shit posting with the with the gun and stuff. But if they add stuff to it, man, maybe. If I could kill ten boars and have a bigger carrying pack or something, I'll give it up. I'm not listen, I think a lot of people think that I'm trying to be like a contrarian or hate Breath of the Wild for no reason. I swear to God that I'm not. I genuinely am not. I just like I find no value or interest in playing a big open world game where at every point it feels like I'm being punished for like doing stuff and going places because I'm not going the right way. You know what I mean? Like they try to say that you can go anywhere, but like the Korok seeds don't really give me anything and I'm fighting people for no reason. It's just like I just don't like Breath of the Wild, but it's a great foundation and maybe they can make it better. I like South Korean developer Project Cloud Games is a tiny team of less than half a dozen people, but you wouldn't be able to guess that by looking at Project Relic. I know it's so... How do I put this? I know it's so reductive to think this, but anytime I see a game like this, I'm like, Souls. Souls. <laughs> it's Souls. It's Souls. But that's so shitty, because, like, one of these is probably really good. I just see it, and I'm like, Souls, big giant enemy with slow sweeping attacks with a dodging guy. Like, it's just... Uh... In action. I only do the that Souls... when they flask drink? Wait, really? <laughs> like, if you see somebody take a drink, you're like, just, th that's it. That's like the one. Action RPG is still a ways off from launch, but... That's an indie game about a so depression. Far, it... Dude, somebody pointed out, they're like, name five games that are indie games about you know, depression and mental health. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Good, you know, for all the jokes that I make about, like, stupid indie games with, like, you know, alcoholic parents and they... But I was like, you know, Amori, Lisa, Celeste. You know? Gone Home. Yeah, but that one's old, right? I was going to say Limbo or Inside, but I don't know. That's because they're not memorable, but not because they don't exist. Yeah, I th I feel like they fade into the ether, and and I just can't remember that. But at the same time, maybe they're right, bro. Maybe it's just a trope that I, I, I make fun of, but it's not real. I don't know. Not Braid. That game's about nothing. True. There ain't even no point to the game. <laughs> it seems to be striking. I would like a Yoop emote. You think I could get Soldier Boy to make an emote? The right balance between you think I could taking do that? cues from genre giants Night in and the woods? carving out its oh, own identity. Oh shit! There's another We're one. We're hoping to see more of it in the near future God. because so far, I was far, disappointed. I didn't love that game. Our curiosity, to say the very least. I thought I would love that game. Baldur's Gate Three. Oh hold Wait. on, I forgot to take that one down. Project Relic. Wait, where'd I put? My notepad. Uh, that's that's a no. That's a no. Okay. In the near future, because so far, it certainly piques our curiosity, to say the very least. No thanks! Baldur's Gate 3. Larian Studios has established itself as one of the best CRPG developers Bro. in the industry. Larian Studios has established itself as... It's stealth. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Okay. Listen, this happens. You guys should see me. You guys should see me trying to cut an intro for a video. It's a nightmare. It's bad. It's really bad. When I'm trying to cut an intro for a video, it takes me like 15 minutes because I'm constantly stumbling. But like... You gotta take another take, bro. You know? As one That's of the crazy. Best CRPG developers in the industry. And with Baldur's Gate 3, the studio. Tony, you speak for a living. You've been on the mic for 12 years. Yeah, but somebody should catch that, right? It was you know? To reach new heights. It's so in small and so stupid. It's period, fine. Baldur's it happens to everybody. has already but... impressed players. And if the game makes good. YouTube on doesn't know any of my problems. Bro. Have been making, That's crazy. It might just be able to do Baldur's Gate is a no series' immense legacy. 
There are still I know people like it, but whether it'll be able to launch in full in 2022, though. So let's big all no keep thanks. our fingers crossed. For spoken, new IPs are always exciting, especially when they're being well, fully backed by major AAA publishers. And for spoken has done quite enough until Ooh. now to grab attention. Promising unique combat, a massive open world, and adrenaline pumping movement, okay. Square Enix's upcoming action RPG has all the elements in place Square to deliver Enix? something special. Whether or not it can actually do that remains to be seen, but Pretty either game. way, it's definitely got our attention. That's a maybe from me. The Wolf I'll give Among it up. Us 2. Oh, wait, I forgot they were making this! The original this. The Wolf Among Us remains one of Telltale's greatest games ever to this day. Don't so say when Telltale Chat, don't was say reformed and a sequel to the game was announced, Come on! there was plenty of excitement surrounding it. We've heard literally nothing about it since then. Bro, but poor Wolf Among will Us. Begin lifting the curtain on it in the near future. Having to come out after that if game the now. Wolf Among Us 2 can recapture it's, its so predecessor's stupid. magic, it'll be worth keeping an eye on. Wu Chang That's a maybe. Feathers. This is one that Bloodborne fans are going to want to keep an eye on. Huh? Developed by indie Chinese studio Lin Z Games, dark fantasy action RPG Wu Chang Fallen Feathers is promising a hard-boiled Souls-like experience set in a world based on Chinese mythology. Oh my god. We got to see an extended no. look at gameplay earlier in 2021. Bro, look at that fucking health bar. And since then, we've been desperate to see more Looks of like it. Looks like shit! If the game can manage the level of quality that it exists I hate in Wu that Chang. gameplay reveal, it could end up being quite a big release. Final Fantasy 16. Oh, they're making that. How I forgot. How long has it been since we got a traditional high fantasy setting in a Final Fantasy game? Or a single player Final Fantasy game, at least. Final Fantasy 16 would have been an exciting you know what? release no matter what. This is a maybe. That it has that kind of a setting makes it doubly so. Especially this is a maybe. with a sizable chunk of FF14's development team working on it. Bro, I actually liked Remake a lot. It, it looked fun. Well, that not looked fun. It was fun. And now this looks fun. Because I liked or er, the, the Remake. Square a Enix lot. has gone awfully quiet about the action RPG it's since a maybe. first unveiling it's a maybe. it. But it might be really cool, you know? It was more than enough Coney, to do you remember the Dark Souls game through the roof. you had a bounty for? It. Was it Mortal Shell? No, I bought Mortal Shell, and I fucking hated it. I hated Mortal Shell. Oh, God, what was the Dark Souls game I had a bounty for? I My first de bounty ever was Dark Souls. I don't remember. The Alien one? Oh, did I have a bounty for that? Yeah, it was called, like, Oblivion or something? Something point. Avatar Frontiers. I think it was something Pandora. point. I don't know. The Avatar game has been a long it was time bad. coming. It was and bad. In 2021, they finally unveiled it. Hell point. Avatar Thank Frontiers you. of Thank Pandora you, is promising a first person open world adventure that fully leverages the power of new gen hardware. Who's still who's waiting for Avatar, dude? Why do they keep doing this? How is Avatar still making any amount of money or cultural traction? This is so weird to me, man. They have a park at Disney. They had a movie 10 years ago. Like, this is so weird, man. Why is everybody waiting for Avatar? This is so dumb. Wait, he said First unveiled again? Did he? Unveiled it. Avatar Frontiers Wait. of Pandora. In 2021, they finally unveiled it. Oh my Av god, you're right. Maybe he's AI. Maybe he's an AI. Avatar is good. People forget it was decent, even if a bit forgettable. Listen, I'm not, I'm not dumping on Avatar. I've never seen it. I, I don't, I don't care about the movie itself. I just care about like, this is so long for a media franchise to have like any sort of cultural foothold, releasing no media, right? That's so weird to me. My wife loves Avatar and called you weird. I'm weird. Your wife's gonna wait 30 years for four movies, and I'm weird? What are you talking about? I hope your wife is into Harry Potter or something, because, like, I, this is worse. Like, in terms of fandoms, it's like Avatar is the bottom rung. Harry Potter is barely above it, and then, like, Star Wars, and I just hate these fucking fandoms, bro. Thank God someone else is calling her on it. 
It's bizarre. How could you love a movie you saw 50... Oh, she was young. Was she like a preteen? That's what it was. It made a very big impact on her, and she's waiting forever for the for the movie to come back. It's not coming back, and when it does, you're going to watch it as an adult and be like, this is kind of stupid. Happened to a lot of Star Wars people, too. Oh, no, this is weird to me because I'm an adult now, and I don't like it. This must be the developer's fault. Avatar Frontiers Stupid. of Pandora is promising a- Cody, you just don't understand the wonder of riding the mighty Icran. You know what? If I actually, if I actually, if I watch the movie, I might get it. If I watch the movie, I might understand it. That's true. That's true. If I rode the mighty Icran, I might get it. It does sound quite mystical. Person, open and quite whimsical, I would fully say. Fully leverages the power of new gen hardware. I don't hardware. get it, but you're right. I need the soul bond with that, a creature. It's impossible right. not to be intrigued by what the game will deliver. We still haven't seen an awful lot of it, and Tony, do you consider yourself part of any fandom? I hate that word. I hate that word. I really do. I th I don't know if it's a generational thing or what. I just hate the word. I like the things that I like. I'm not a part of like a community of people or a fandom. I just don't, I don't want to associate with that, you know. I just, I really like, I, I liked the new Five Nights game, right? Uh, I like Smiling Friends. I watched the whole show. I liked it a lot, but like, Smash fandom, oh god. It will get Relax. Delayed, but either way, Relax. this one is definitely on oh. our radar. Chat, let's not forget Coney's a diehard Popeye fan waiting for his hey, next man. arcade port in 10 years. Hey man, years. that's just gonna bang. Popeye 2, when they finally figure out how to, how to... Where do I even begin? <laughs> what joke can I even make? Right? That game had no, that game had nothing I could riff on. It had nothing I could riff on. When they finally figure out how to make four levels, maybe, maybe that was the joke. There is nothing there. Night oh. Silk Song. The wait for Never Hollow Knight ever, Silk Song has been a torturous one. Not just because of how long it's been, but also because developer Team Cherry has said next to nothing about the game in the past year or so, if not more. And yet, we can't help but be excited about it. Because if it's even half as good as its predecessor was, it's still going to be one of the best games ever made. So, I'm wondering... I'm genuinely wondering if they're not releasing it because, like, I don't know, man. How do you wow people again? Hollow Knight is mad overrated? No, I don't think so. It's COVID issues? Oh, really? Okay. That sucks. It's four people, to be fair. I d yeah, but how long did Hollow Knight take? I don't think it took this long, right? I think expectations are so ungodly high. That, like, how do you top it? I feel the same way about Half-Life 3. Like, they're, they're not releasing Half-Life 3 because they want a new idea, right? They want something that's, like, brand new. So they're like, fuck it. Uh, Alex, <laughs> we got cool VR ideas. Hollow Knight started development in 2014. Wait, what? Started development in 2014? Man. Listen, I'm a big Hollow Knight fan. I always have been. I said when it first came out, it's the best Metroidvania ever made. I fucking love Hollow Knight. And I still I still think it's good. And I'm glad that everybody else loves it. Uh, but I don't know, bro. Hollow Knight in the Hollow... Coney's in the Hollow Knight fandom. Relax. I don't have a bug Sona. Not quite. Not quite. It's a great game. It's a great game, but I just, I wonder, man. I don't know if they're ready. We can't confidently say that Silk Song is Have you played be Ori? I did not like Ori. I hated Ori, actually. I think it's because I played Ori on hard, which made it not fun. Oh, you guys weren't around for that. Yeah, the old, 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 old Coney fans will know. Yeah, the old friends. I played it. I hated it. Why? It just wasn't fun. It's just mashing R1. While doing platforming, it's not fun. It's pretty. 
But the story is just like, oh, there, there, he was, there was a sad guy, and then there was a tree, and he died on the tree. I don't remember what the story was. Something about lights. Oh, it's so sad. Your friend died under the tree, but then you brought him back to life. He's okay. Ori 2 actually is combat. I don't care. I didn't like the first one. There's Ori VODs out there. Are there? Are there VODs of me playing it? Because I hated it. I was miserable. Soon I did not like it. We said that before and been totally wrong, but we sincerely hope it does. Star Ori 2 feel. steals from Hollow Knight. Great choice. All right, I'll give it up. I'll give it up. That's pretty good. It's been a while since Bethesda released a single-player RPG, but Star... Guys, what would Starfield be called if it was a cat? <laughs> it's been a while since Bethesda released a single-player <laughs> RPG, but Starfield, which is the developer's... The way he's saying it is killing me. Starfield. <laughs> first new IP in what feels like forever has the potential to be one of the studio's best ever outings. Admittedly, we're basing that on very little right now, and though we're certainly excited about what Bethesda has said about the game so far, we do want to see actual gameplay footage to see how it's shaping up. Bro, Starfield is... Now I'm saying it. Oh my god. Starfield is probably like 2024, right? Not four. That's too far. Maybe early four, late three. Late three. 2025? No. No. Bethesda needs something. Bethesda needs something, bro. Right? It's either this or Elder Scrolls. They said you can't go up the ladder because it's still based on Skyrim. Ability. I saw that. Yeah. You still can't do ladders, which is insane to me. When are we going to invest in a new engine? Listen, I'm sure it's hard. I worked at a company where our infrastructure was so impossible to change just based on the way that it was it was sort of structured that, like, I get it. I've been Todd, right? But If it can deliver on the developer's lofty promises, though, this is the new engine? Be oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. best games. Good for them, then. Dead Space. Bro, oh, I forgot this was happening. For too long, and while we're still not getting a new entry in the series, we are at least getting the next bet. Bro, and while we're still not getting a new entry in the series, come on, man, come on. It makes me sad because when I'm recording stuff, if I fuck up once, I'm like fuck. And I gotta restart the whole thing. This dude is just—he can't stop. He we can't are stop. At least getting the next best. One thing. take, Jake. Yeah. EA Motive is remaking the original game. This time from the is very up. valuable. And with the promise of improvements to gameplay, visuals, and story, it's got serious potential. Survival horror fans have been treated to some excellent games of late, and hopefully, Dead Space will be another one of those. I like Dead Space a lot. Uh, I really like the first two games. The thing about Dead Space is that I feel like if you went back and played them now, they're very basic. I don't know how you make them function now. Like, I, the series itself is very, at least the first two, I didn't play the third one. But they're just like super baseline. It's like you're walking around, third person, uh, shoot the limbs off this guy. That's really it. Not really that much memorable, not many mechanics. Um, the art direction is amazing, and the sense of tension is great. It's a very good game, but, like, basic, do you mean it's a good game with no fat? I mean, yeah, yeah, for the time, but you can't release it now. Well, maybe, actually, if you just update the, uh, the graphics and the aesthetic and make it, like, modern. I could see it. It's a very simple game, but it's good. It is some good excellent game. games of product of the time. Yeah, I, I think of it the same way that I think of like Dead Rising. Right, it feels very like that era, not in a bad way, but it feels very mid two thousands. Dead Space will be another, which I think is the era it came from. I don't remember. Another <laughs> one of those. Elden Ring. Oh, an obvious pick. Elden, Elden Ring would have Ring. deserved a place here, even if it was just another regular One month, from dude. software One game. One month. But the fact that it's got such exciting <sighs> ambitions makes it that much. Please more be intriguing. good. 
Please be good. Designed by the masters at From Software. They haven't missed. Crammed with a sort of gameplay genius that the studio you know? has always been known for, it's hard not to be hyped about something like that. It helps, of course, that based on what I'm feeling an eight. I'm feeling an eight. Dark Souls four incoming. I mean, that's literally what it is. That's why I'm not that excited for it. But I'm feeling an eight. We've seen so far, and based on our own hands-on time with the game, Elden Ring is shaping up really, Demon Souls really is a miss? well. Oh, that's true. Well, no, Grand Demon Souls isn't a miss because Demon Souls like set the foundation, right? I I don't like Demon Souls, and I don't think it's fun, but I do appreciate what it did. You know, I'll give it up. God, I can't wait to watch EE -E play Dark Souls 2. Oh, my God. Turismo 7. No! Gran Turismo has had a few off years, and even though GT Sport I'm sick eventually of this, managed dude. to turn things around and deliver a Where's solid my burnout? experience, drive a real car. Go buy a real car. Drive a car. Entry in the series drive any car. With G this is so stupid. I don't want to protect. I drive every day of my fucking life. It's like Guitar Hero, but sadder. GT7. It GT Most Successful Car Series. I fucking hate it. It looks like that's so exactly stupid. what we're going to get. And everything that Polyphony Digital... I feel like a boomer who was so like getting mad about Guitar Hero, but it's cars. The very least. Dumb. Forza Motorsport. Yeah, of Forza course, might Forza be okay. Motorsport 2 is gearing up for a major new release. I played Forza uh, Horizon 5. I, isn't it Forza? I thought that's how you say it. Is that I, maybe I'm influenced by him? I played Horizon Five, and it was like pretty fun, but it's like aggressively. Uh, how do I put it? Everybody talks like a like a like a Fast and the Furious character. You know what I mean? That's the tryhard pronunciation. Oh, like Barcelona, Barcelona. Just say Barcelona, bro. I don't know how to describe how everybody talks in Horizon. I feel like I would get in trouble if I tried it. But the game is set in Mexico, and, like, everybody is, is like, constantly just, like, in, in your ear, like, just speaking Spanglish the entire game. Every sentence. And it's just like, dude, it's broken Spanish and then random English. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot. It's aggressive, you know? I... <laughs> I, I'm trying to I'm trying to walk the line before I get in trouble. The game, it's very and I assume that the last game was like that, which was like in Italy or something. I don't know, but Turn Ten Studios is billing the next installment in the series muy as mal. a reboot. Yeah, exactly. That's what they would do. They'd be like, your driving is muy mal, uh, amigo. And it's like <laughs> they I don't think they talk like I don't think people talk like that. That's not like a normal thing for a Mexican person to say, you know, it's like <laughs> promising improvements on all fronts and a rethinking of many key components that have defined the series for so long. We've seen next to nothing of the game so far, but if it can come close to delivering <laughs> That's how we help on the same in Mexico? level as okay, my the bad. series' best outings, it's surely going to be a treat for That's Yes, yeah, okay Genre fans I was I, I was thinking of that and itadekimas. That's the other one. Itadekimas. That means Oh, that's thank you for the meal. I thought that was sorry. <laughs> I thought that was sorry. Uh I thought I <laughs> It's a it okay. It's a it's a it's a prayer. It's like a prayer. Gomenasai. Ah, okay. Got it. I literally just watched something where they said itadekimasu. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I think it was the fucking the ad that you guys sent me about the guy with the with the Alexa that was like wasn't that it? Gomenasari. <laughs> that was the one. Yeah, okay. Uh Forza is probably a no. Horizon! Horizon! Forbidden Horizon! West. 
Breath of the Wild, even the but early a better game, better combat, major don't remember the story, and something about the apocalypse, West is crafting some items, pick up launch. some flowers, it's making cool to kill to things, combat, traversal and Horizon rules, bro! A vast and beautiful world full of dangerous and new machines to f Why does everybody say Aloy is ugly, bro? I think she's cute. I don't know why everybody does that. Everybody's just Everybody talks about how ugly she is. I think she's cute. I like freckles, though. Maybe that's it for me. Promising a vast and beautiful world full of dangerous and new machines to fight. Based on all the info we have on this game so far, it's looking like it'll build on its predecessor strengths in the bro. best ways possible. The combat in Horizon is so good. It does it's that. so good, bro. Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2. Oh, mental health game. We the found one. Hellblade there you go. Surprised a lot of people, but now, now I remember. expectations from its sequel are much higher. I think that guy was right so earlier far, when they said that like there's Ninja just like will be you don't the remember task. them because I forgot Saga about this. Hellblade 2 is promising best in class visuals and the same profoundly effective storytelling that defined its predecessor. I never played and the first though one. Though we haven't seen too much gameplay yet, what we have seen has looked really good. It seems Combat like was boring, but atmosphere was cool. Launch, but yeah, I heard the, so, the like the feel of the game and the experience was cool, but the rest of it was like games. you know. Marvel's Spider-Man Two. Ooh! Insomniac Games has delivered two excellent Spider-Man games in quick succession. Two-ing. So there's no reason to believe that Marvel's Spider-Man Two will be any different. Due out in 2023, the superhero sequel will see Peter Parker and Miles Morales teaming up against a roster of formidable new villains. And even though that's pretty much all the information we have on the game right now, we can't wait to see how Insomniac improves upon the excellent foundations laid down in the first two games. I wonder how they iterate on this, right? Because, like, it's Bam Ham Combat, but extended, right? Which is fine. Oh, it's not 2022? Okay, whatever. I don't care. It says and beyond. Uh, when Arkham Asylum came out, the way that it, it got bigger is it just had a open world city, right? Like you could go all around the city and it was huge and whatever. That was how Arkham City did it. But Spider-Man already had the city. Is it just bigger? What new gameplay mechanics can you add in? I don't know. Introduce multiverse Spider-Man. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I could see that. I mean, you've already got two here, right? And if they have different abilities and combat styles or something. Symbiote mechanics. Okay, I could see that, yeah. I just, like, I, I, I see Spider-Man and it's like, Miles Morales was, like, exactly Spider-Man, right? It was the same game. Which is fine, because Spider-Man was a good game. But, like, I feel like so much of Spider-Man games is just getting the web-slinging right, and then you get it right, and it's like, okay, now what do we do? It's like, Pfft, I don't know. Uh, uh, he fights. All right. Foundations laid down Whatever. in the first two games. Maybe it'll be good. Marvel's Wolverine. Ooh. Of course, Insomniac's got other Marvel stuff in the works as well. Forgot about Marvel's this one. Marvel's Wolverine has easily been one of the most surprising new announcements of 2021, and given how expertly the developer captured the spirit of Spider-Man, the excitement surrounding Wolverine is easy to understand. We know <sighs> next to nothing about the game so far, so our excitement right now is still conceptual. Do you think you could get away with putting out the same game but under different superheroes? You know what I'm saying? Like, if Wolverine plays just like Spider-Man, but obviously instead of web-slinging, you have, like, more brutal combat or something. You think you could do the same thing? I feel like you can't. If you just make melee Spider-Man, and that's Wolverine, Last of Us is just half-speed Uncharted. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Coney, that's exactly what they're going to do. I mean, if it works, though, they could do this so like so many times, dude. Insomniac is going to create a monopoly off of Marvel characters, which would be insane. They already do that with the movies. Yeah, but, like, I don't know if that flies in games. But I think it will. I think you're right. I don't think it, it, it happens right now, but I think fans will eat up anything. Right. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's going to be more about the story, like Logan's story, Bat Chest. Schnick Bub, Bat Chest. Ugh. But Insomniac has. Fun is fun. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. I'm sounding like an old fogey. I get it. It's just like, I. I, I love Bam Ham, right? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, search uh, Bam Ham Batman. Uh, I love Bam Ham Combat. I do. But, I don't know. Has earned that much trust when somebody finds point. a new system, it's going to change the world. Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. Dude, Stalker I forgot about this. Stalker been waiting for a full-fledged sequel for a long time. I forgot long time. about and this. And Stalker 2 itself had to jump... Actually, hold on. I should do this for the YouTube. <laughs> Guys, whenever I say Bam Ham Combat, this is what I'm talking about. Batman Arkham Asylum. Bam Ham is very fun to say. <laughs> I love this. Bam, a ham, yum. <laughs> I love this. I love this image so much. This is Bam Ham Combat, which is basically you stand in a big crowd of people and you hit square, and then when somebody swings at you, you hit triangle. That is Bam Ham. And it's been the combat system of choice for like 20 years through a ton of hoops before it could finally begin Bam Ham City is also very but good. Yes, if yeah, what yeah, yeah. We've seen Those games the are good. open world survival horror shooter so far is any indication it's going to be well worth the wait. Due out in April for Xbox Series X and S and PC, this has potential to be one of 2022's biggest games. Okay, genuine question. Is Stalker good? I'm serious. I'm not I'm not like trying to bait or anything. I feel like it's one of those games that like it's Slav junk. I feel like it's one of those games that was like amazing for its time, but like it doesn't seem timeless. But maybe I'm wrong. Like it was Fallout before Fallout, you know? When I, I, I've tried to start playing it a few times and I just fall out of it. I'm like, this is boring. Serious, yes, great game, but it definitely feels its age. I mean, when I played it, I remember thinking like, oh, this is like a Fallout game, but like more like leaning into the simulation and the actual like atmosphere, which is cool, right? But I don't know. Comparing it to Fallout is a bad thing. Yeah, but I mean, come on. It's right there. You know, I, I, from an outside perspective, it's, come on. It's Fallout 3. Two's biggest games. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Might be a letdown, bro. The original Knights of the Old Republic remains one of the best RPGs ever made to this day. So its remake oh. is going to have plenty to live up to, to say the very least. So if the studio can recapture the brilliance of the original game and modernize the experience for a new generation, they might just be able to strike gold with this remake. Who's making it? Do we know? Did you guys say? Espier? Nintendo. Okay. <laughs> it's not David Cage. That's Eclipse. That's the other one. No, this one is like the studio that ported the old one. I'm wondering if you give it like Fallen Order combat and gameplay, is it good then? I don't think so. Because it's like, this game is mad. Uh, it's like, it's so RPG. You can't make it an action game. It has to be an RPG. But I also think that the old Bioware games are shit. They're shitty. It's shit. They just don't age well. They're so boring. Yeah, they're just they're just slow. They were really fun at the time. Because it was like, oh, what can this medium do? Now we know what the medium can do, you know? Pokemon Legends Arceus. Should I play this? Pokemon's lack of ambition and unwillingness to change has earned it plenty of well-deserved criticism no. <laughs> in recent years. But with Pokemon Legends Arceus, I'm desperate for games, guys. Able to finally I am desperate for content, truly. I'm just trying to play video games. Given this series' track record, it's going to be some bad. Understandable skepticism. 
bro. He's in a water car. <laughs> beep, beep. There's some understandable skepticism out there, whether it'll be able to do that. But if it does, it's open if world, Legends guys. Successfully established a new direction for the series. It'll be a momentous release. It does look shitty. Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. Rocksteady has certainly taken its sweet time with its next release since 2015's Batman Arkham Knight, Bad but chest. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League seems to be making all the right promises right now. Set in an open world metropolis where you play as four distinct characters with unique movesets and abilities and actually fight against the Justice League itself, it's impossible not to be intrigued by that premise. The gameplay reveal trailer looked encouraging as well, so we got high hopes for this one. Bro, the Flash being your main villain sucks. This sucks. This fucking guy? This is the biggest guy you could come up against? He's not the main villain. He's fil filler, you think? It's like a Resident Evil 7 thing. He's the first boss. Okay, that's sick. Listen, if he's the first boss and then you actually kill everybody else, that's good. But I thought that they would just show him and then, like, he's, like, the ultimate guy. Because you can't kill Batman or Superman because they're too strong, you know? They don't want to make them look weak. It's the whole Justice League? Are you sure? It's the name of the game. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if, like, ah, you get, you get 30 hours in, you kill the Flash, and then Harley Quinn looks at the camera and says... Now it's time to kill the rest of the Justice League. Boom boom. Suicide Squad 2, kill the Justice League, Gotham City. And you just stretch it out over six games. Isn't this just Avengers? Right? Probably good Avengers. Right? Probably good Avengers. I trust Rocksteady. I hope it's good. By the way, Rocksteady made Bam Ham, so... Play reveal trailer it's got to be four players as well. It so has we to be. got high hopes for this one. Gotham Knights. While the Suicide Squad takes on the Justice League in Metropolis back in Gotham, the Bat family is reeling with the loss of Batman. Bro, why did he step away from the mic? What is that? Gotham Knights. He like While the Suicide back. Squad takes on the Justice League in Metropolis back in Gotham, the Bat family is He definitely dropped something. He dropped something on the floor. Oh, my God. He dropped something on the floor. And he is like, oh, shit. The Bat family is here. <laughs> oh, dude. One take, Jake. This guy must be expensive. He's got to be mad expensive to get working. He's reeling with the loss of Batman and going up against the Court of Owls. Again, with the promise of Losing four distinct owls? characters, each with their own strengths and abilities, Gotham Knights has the potential to deliver an engaging, varied open-world action RPG, and what we've seen of it so far has certainly piqued our interest. Open world? Here's hoping the actual game manages to do that as well. Wait, what's the game like then? Abilities, Gotham Knights has the potential to deliver an engaging... I'm trying to figure out what the game is like. It's like Arkham Again, Knight? with the... Yeah, but Robin joined the session, bro. Is it multiplayer? Distinct characters, like, each with their own strengths and abilities. Gotham Knights has the potential to deliver an engaging, varied open. It's two players. Is it Souls? You pick two out of four. Kony, you ever play Mad Max? No, I didn't. Open world is just a. Wait. World action. Does one of them, when they go to attack, have like a big red thing over their head? <laughs> That's what I need to see. Potential to deliver an engaging, That's what I need to see. Open world action Come on. RPG. And what we've seen of it so far has certainly... What? The dude that was shooting didn't give any Jim. kind of indication. Varied open world... He's got like the laser on her. RPG. And what he probably makes a sound. He probably like goes... But we've seen of it so far has certainly yeah it doesn't seem interest. bam ham no here's hoping the actual game manages to do that as well sonic frontier <laughs> sonic fans have been waiting for the series this next step forward for quite some time and with sonic frontiers it looks like the iconic blue blur has bigger ambitions than ever 
The concept of a Sonic game set in a vast open world has inherent appeal, and the That's idea of being able no to zip thanks. through a massive That's world a designed no around thanks. the idea of speed is no. an exciting one. If Sega can pull this off, there may very well end up delivering one of the best 3D Sonic games. Ever. Bro, that was a deep breath. Can pull this off, there may very well end up deli <gasps> delivering one of the best 3D Sonic games ever. Here's hoping it lives up to its potential. Cody, please play this. I will. I will. You know I will. Then. Of course. <laughs> so what are your thoughts? That on? mouth sound. Here's hoping it lives up to its potential. Then. So. Dude, this channel kills me. This channel kills me. Yeah, that's the last game with Sonic. Okay. All right. Let's see how we did. Damn, a pretty good list. Honestly, not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perhaps. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Not bad. I'm going to try Suicide Squad. I will try it. Uh, well, hold on. Wait, wait. What was the payout for? Oh, they already paid out. <laughs> oh, it's seven or more? Oh, that sucks, because I was thinking about taking Suicide Squad off. Oh, too late. Too late. Got to go with my gut. I was going back and forth on Suicide Squad. But I had to give it up. I had to give it up. I did. It looks pretty good, dude. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm 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 still not excited about this year if I'm being honest, bro. I don't know. Where was Kirby? I don't know. They didn't have like much Nintendo, right? They just had Breath of the Wild. Are you excited for Kirby? Be honest, bro. Actually I haven't even seen the Kirby trailer. One sec. The new one. I have not watched the new trailer. What's the new one? Copy abilities and co-op? This one? I haven't seen this yet. Oh, he's cute! God, I love Kirby. Alright, hold on. What did he do? Oh, Poppy. Uh. uh It's Kirby 3D World? Yeah. I mean, it looks very cute. Um Does it look fun? <laughs> Does he have a gun? Oh my god! A firearm! It just... Ooh! That's pretty! Meta Knight's problem, bro. Why are they always fighting? Yeah, I gotta be honest, bro. It looks very cute. It looks like it will be very fun for someone of a younger age. Right? I just don't... It looks good for what it is. Yeah, I mean, I don't... This It doesn't look fun to me. You're just looking to be a hater. I'm not. I want it. I I want to like games. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I just watched this and it. It's just. It's very basic. But that's Kirby. Kirby is very basic. Don't get me wrong. That's how he operates. That's sort of, and that's good. That's a good spot for him. I love his design. I love his music. His games are so boring. They're so boring. What's fun? 
What's fun here? You just you walk up and smack this dude in the head. Robobot, though? I gotta play Robobot. Everybody says that's the good one. Violence is fun. You know, I, I'll play it. I'll play any Kirby game that gets above a 7 on out of 10. How about that? I feel like the dad in Angels in the Outfield, who's like, yeah, I'll come home when the Angels win the pennant. It's not happening. It's not happening. This joint's getting a 7. 7.5 doesn't count. Has to be an 8. Has to be an 8. Has to be above a 7. I will try Robobot, because I do hear that's good. I do want to try that. Hold on. Kirby Star Allies Metacritic. Dude, I played like three levels of the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You bumped that up to 80, we'll talk. I played two levels of this. I was like, this is boring. Kirby's games never seem fair on the enemies, but this tiresome and poorly balanced co-op platformer offers little chance of fun for them or you. Ooh! Get him! Not fun for nobody. That's tough. Less than a 6.5 before DLC. Yeesh. Jeez, bro. It's fucked up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I I don't like Kirby games. I like the idea of Kirby games, but Kirby games themselves aren't great. Okay, this this is our list for the end of the year, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Did I get something wrong? Are you one of those weird Avatar fans that I've heard so much about? If so, you might want to unsubscribe from the channel. I don't really do Avatar content. If you're part of the Avatar fandom, that's a little weird. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Say bye, chat. Bye. Goodbye. But can you guys say bye? Be polite. Bye. They're being so mean to you. I'm sorry for them. Bye. Okay. Some stuff to be excited for, I guess. I don't know. I just, maybe I'm just jaded. Maybe I'm jaded and hateful. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be a video, but I figured I'd give it a shot. The IGM video did well, and I would like to pivot to more, like, general gaming. I don't want to say, like, news and stuff, but, like, just general stuff, you know? I, th I would like YouTube to get the uh, experience of, like, sitting in here and talking about games. So... Yeah, I just don't, uh, I don't get Kirby. I just don't. Maybe I'm old. And I say that sincerely. Like, I just don't, I'm not into it, you know? Tough. Thank you, Dare Bear. I tried playing Epic Yarn with, with TK a while ago, and I got so fucking bored. And I will never forget that. Okay, I've got a game for you guys next. You guys want to play a game? <laughs> oh boy. This is a game that we're going to play. Alright, we're going to play a game. And if there's time... what time? Oh, it's only 9.32? Why did I think it was later? Oh, because I start at 7 on Sundays. Sick. All right, we're going to play a game, and then we're going to watch that stupid Mario video that you guys want to watch. How many Mario games are there that you guys won't leave me alone on? Maybe. I might want to watch something else instead. <laughs> I might change my mind. I don't know. I might be lying right now. But first, you and I are going to play a quick game. Now, this game has stakes. There's something on the line. And I'll tell you what it is in a second. Damn, dude. The Let's Make Big Moves video uh, started not great. And now it's 4 out of 10. It started like 9 or 10. It's moving up. That's really good. I'm happy for that. All right. I'm going to watch one of two videos. One of them is the Mario video and one of them is a different one, which I think I would rather watch. 
but we'll see. Okay. Is it Hangman again? No. Not Hangman. Fortnite creepypasta. The druff, the bus driver? <laughs> I have to know. <laughs> I heard of an Easter egg. It's an odd Easter egg. And apparently fairly scary. I love the occult and chasing down scary stories. Or chasing down anything in the paranormal. I heard of a rumor on Reddit about the bus on Fortnite. Yeah? You know, the one that takes you throughout the map and you drop out of it? Yeah, the bus? Yeah. There's apparently a pretty creepy Easter egg that can only be done on Friday the 13th. <gasps> on Friday the 13th, go into a game of Fortnite and stay on the bus. Wait until the bus is about to kick you out and unplug your router. <laughs> when you plug your router back in, yeah. do not, I repeat, do not find a new game. Or what? If you've done everything right, then you should still be on the bus. How many kids have done I this? I successfully did this correctly. Oh my god. I'm still on the bus, but the bus isn't going over the map. It's going over a passage of time. From the past, to the present, <laughs> and even the future. Oh, he's on the magic school bus. I got to see the pyramids being made. Oh. Hitler's rise to <laughs> and fall from power. From the battle the assassination bus? assassination of JFK. Oh my god! And brother RFK. The truth about Kurt Cobain's suicide. <laughs> then... It Bro, just some dude in a bus looking out inside the window just... You get to see all that from the bus? You're like a mile in the air. It Just went on to 9 11. What's going the on down on there? Terror. It showed Steve Jobs inventing the iPhone. Cody, you got to test the landscape this. True. for good. That. That was. Bro, he said JFK, Hitler, and Steve Jobs inventing the iPhone. It's the last good Cultural thing landmarks. I saw. Cultural landmarks, truly. The rest of what I saw was in the future. And the future looks... Grim. Oh no, what happened? In 2020, there will be a third world war. Russia won't back down. No! Neither will the US. The three main superpowers, Russia, China, and the United States, will all be fine. But the other countries... <laughs> the other countries all the other countries? The war... My my parents, they, they die sometime during all the nuclear fallout. This guy sucks at Fortnite, my by brothers the way. and all my cousins get sent to the front lines and die fighting. The future looks so bleak. And nothing looks like it will ever be the same again. It fast forwards even more to the year twenty thirty two. Okay. It pans to me. Uh huh. I'm older and in my mid thirties. <laughs> I'm in a ghetto with other survivors, huddled by a makeshift fire, trying one to one foot in the warm. grave, mid thirties. I don't hear birds or cars driving by. Or bugs He's you. Noise Shut in the up. Night. All I hear is gunfire, and then I see it—a missile coming down right in front of me, and it's it blows scary. me up into very a million scary. pieces. Oh no. There is no solid piece of me. <laughs> it's only... Oh, no! Pink mist. No! He got blown After up! After that, it pans back to me on the bus, and it kicks me out. I really hope this future isn't true. <laughs> and I really hope no one else tries this. Dude, how many kids couldn't sleep because of this video? How many kids listen to this and they like, they literally, like, this is the scariest thing an eight year old will ever hear? By the way, there's a sequel The Bus Driver 2. This is why we must thank the bus driver. Honestly, this is really good. It also opens your eyes to what could happen in the future. What are you fucking talking about? What kind of like bait is this? 
mm, this is good and also makes you think. This could happen. This actually could happen. Oh my god. It's creative writing class. That's amazing. I love creative writing class. That's a that's that's terrific. Okay. All right, we're going to play a game. Okay? Uh hmm. Let me make sure I have this ready. I have to make sure I'm doing this right because if I don't, I'm going to I'm going to fuck this up. Well, obviously, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, stream Raiders? No. Although I was supposed to have them on. I'll put them on Wednesday. I'll put them on Wednesday and Thursday. I have to have them on for two streams a week. I meant to do it tonight, but I had to record a bunch of content tonight. So, Thank you, Extreme Ninja Devil. Guys, I haven't done it all night. If you got a Prime, please consider, okay? You should see how much I'm getting decayed. It hurts me. It hurts me. It truly does. I feel gutted. Okay? If you guys have a Prime, just think about it. You don't have to do it. It's free. Hey, it'll make you feel good. Okay? I'm the decayer. Is that you eating up my subs? Hurts. All right. <laughs> I love this game. Thank you, Patu97. Frost McCloud and W Rock. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. I love this game. It's so stupid, but I love this game. Okay. Can you mobile prime? I don't know. I think so. Not sure. Oh my god, that was a lot of subs. Thank you guys so much. I'm up to 2042. I started this stream in 2011. Actually, I think I started in 2001. So we're almost up 50. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. All right. How do I intro this? Yeah! Thank you, Grande Alex. I would have primed, but you tainted factor opinion. No, I did not. I did not. I told you the truth. Thank you, M. Dorns. Thank you, Exalted Ma. Thank you, Grande Alex. Thank you, Jams Game Room. Zishan. Thank you guys so much. Aurelia. Thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Okay, we're going to play a game together. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Fellas, you know it's been a long time since we've played a game together. Just you and me, just getting to know each other, sort of talking, you know, just having a good time. It's a different, it's, I don't know. I feel like we're drifting apart. And I would love to play a new game with you. Well, maybe not a new game. Maybe something you might have seen before a very long time ago. You see, I have a game that I like to call Shitty Genie. Am I allowed to say that in the first minute on YouTube? If not, I have a game I like to call Poop Genie. Now, Shitty Genie is a game where I can offer you whatever you wish for, okay? But it always comes with a cost, as you might have guessed. There's a site that handles these kind of interactions, and it's called Will You Press The Button? Now, you can see what you gain but you cannot see what you will lose. We're gonna play a game called Shitty Genie, okay? And here's how it works. You have an L count. If you get three L's, you're gone. You dead. The genie kills you. You've perished. If you make it all the way through all 10 of my scenarios without amassing three L's, 50 gifted. 50 gifted subs. If you're watching this on YouTube, that's $250. Okay? If you take three L's, the game is over. Now, hold on. I gotta tweet this because I love the name Shitty Genie. <laughs> <laughs> What's a shitty genie? This guy? <laughs> Perfect. 
Perfect. Shutterstock will never know. Okay. All right. Now... Perfect. Should have had this set up before. All right. Tweets out. Now, here's the thing. Boosted, by the way. Boosted, 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 boosted. Give me the boost, give me the boost, give me the boost, give me the boost. Now, the problem here is that, obviously, L's are subjective. What might be an, a W to you is an L to someone else. I need you guys, for the sake of this game, to shake with me. Okay? I need you guys to shake with me. What I consider an L, you have to, you have to accept. You have to. We can't play the game otherwise. Because you could turn anything into a W, right? With a positive attitude, anything is a W. I need you to trust me on this and know that what I say is true. Okay? Just vote no every time. No, you take an L if you don't take the choice when you should have. There are choices in here where there are no downsides. That's what you don't understand. There are things in here where you don't take the deal, but you could have you could have been a totally different person. So you have to shake with me, okay? Thank you. Thank you so thank you for offering your hand. I understand why you would be nervous. I do. I understand why you would be nervous, but I think you're really gonna enjoy this, okay? Okay. You did it! You shook my hand. And you shook this old sinner's hand, and now we're gonna get into shitty genie. <laughs> FOOLS! <laughs> now, we're gonna play a practice round, okay? This is a practice round. This is not real. I just want to show you guys what might lie ahead, okay? Here's how this works. I have to get all the pieces together. Damn it. All right. I just need to change this whole site's theming to a genie. All right. Now, this is a test, both for me and for you, to make sure that we're doing this right, okay? Let me make sure I get this set up. So here's the prompt. You become as rich as you want, but there is a drawback that you can't see behind this blur. It is behind a thick uh, fog of smoke. You can't quite make out what the genie is trying to tell you, the contract that he's having you sign. But you may or may not sign the contract. You can analyze all you want. You won't be able to see it. Chat, do you take the genie's offer? Just vote yes or no. Yes means hitting the button. No means not. Keep in mind, you can take three L's. This is practice, just to show you how the game works. You can take three L's tonight, and there are many of them. An L is either hitting the button when you shouldn't have, or not hitting the button when you should have. And again, I am the arbiter of L's. Okay? Seems like most people are taking the genie's offer. I see that. I see that. Okay. Perfect. How many rounds are we playing? There are 10 rounds. There are 10 rounds. Okay? And again, if you get if you get less than 3 L's, you win and I give up 50 gifted. $250. We're making the deal for you, not for us. No, it's for you. For you personally. You can become as rich as you want, but there is a drawback. Or not. There might not be a drawback. Seems like everybody's hitting the button. All right. L Arbiter doesn't slide off the tongue. Call yourself L Streamer. Never. I will never do it. Loney. <laughs> I'm Loney. 
All right. You're going to hit the button. And you know what? It's a W. It's a W. Well done. Well done. Now, the problem here is that it seems pretty tough, right? Eating a dollar bill for every 1,000 you spend, that does kind of suck because you can't, like, overspend. But you could chop it up into lettuce. That doesn't seem bad. Eating paper, not that bad. You could smoothie it up, right? So you guys took a W. This one doesn't count, obviously, because it's just training. Uh, the problem here is if you buy, like, a house, right? Like, $500,000 house or something. Um, that's $500 bills. But it doesn't specify for how long. So, you guys took a W. You guys took a W. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Okay. All right. Let's put the filter back on. This is the first real one, okay? This one's real. So that was practice. This is real now. You are an NBA champion. But... Uh-oh. Do you wish to be an NBA champion? Think of all the riches that you could accrue. All the rings you could have. It seems not many people are willing to sign the contract. Mm. You don't wish to be an NBA champion? Chat, NBA champion is pretty prestigious. I don't know. I'll let it go for 10 seconds, but I think it's locked up. Okay. 83% will not take the deal. Okay. None of us want to be athletes. We want to be gamers. Okay. So you didn't take the deal to be an NBA champion. Let's see what life you could have led. I got to tell you, that's an L. That's an L. You took an L immediately. You took a fucking L. You lost... It's your eyebrows, dude. You're not gonna give up your eyebrows for millions and millions of dollars? You could draw them on. Women do it all the time. You could use tape. It's an L. It's an immediate L. Literally the first non-practice round and you take an L. Basketball sucks. You know what doesn't suck? Millions of dollars, money, prestige, fame, adulation. I, adulation. Adoration? Like an adoration? I meant like idol, like an idol. Idolation? Idolation? Is that a word? I think that's a word. Fame is an L. No, you took the L by not becoming an NBA champion and losing your eyebrows. That's embarrassing. That's your first L. You have nine more to go. If you take two more L's, you die. You get one trillion dollars. But. 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 Hmm. One trillion is a lot of money, chat. Seems like a lot of people are giving in to their greed. Hmm. <laughs> Will you take the contract? <laughs> For one trillion dollars. Okay. 66% say yes. Let's see what you have to lose. You'll have one trillion dollars, but you have to pretend to be gay for a year! <laughs> Wait, oh, I killed it. I killed OBS!